Hello and welcome. My name is Missy Hall. I'm a licensed creative arts therapist and board certified music therapist. And I currently work at New York Presbyterian Hospital at Columbia. I work in an outpatient trauma treatment clinic. So thank you so much for coming today. Today we're going to be doing a sound meditation and the goal of the meditation is to help balance the central nervous system. We're going to be working with the parasympathetic response, which is the rest and digest part of our central nervous system, activating it and offering us an attempt to allow the body to rest more deeply so that it can begin the healing work. So thank you all for joining today. In front of me, I have a variety of instruments that I'll produce what's called a drone sound. So drone is one sort of circular continuous tone with overtones. And when the drone is playing, what happens is our central nervous system recognizes that it's predictable and consistent. And so it begins to settle. So that's the goal for today. Just giving you an opportunity to settle and rest. So we're going to begin by preparing the body for the work. We'll go ahead and take a big inhale in. Exhale it out. Another inhale in. Exhaling out. One final inhale in. Exhaling out. And beginning to tune in to where you are today. One of the most important parts of this work is that we're moving towards comfort. And comfort is a very individualized experience. So as we begin this practice, I invite you to find a comfortable position, whatever that is for you, whether you're seated or whether you're reclined. And throughout the practice, also continue to move towards comfort. So if there's something that feels uncomfortable, whether it's the sound or your position, just do your very best to move towards something more comfortable. So whether that means stepping away or um, moving a little more closely to the sound, adjusting the volume a little bit, uh, do what is most comfortable for you as we proceed. So on that note, begin to bring your attention to the soles of your feet. Notice what your feet are making contact with in this moment. Whether it's soft or hard, rough or smooth, just begin to notice what that feels like. Now gently beginning to bring your attention to whatever it is that your body is resting on today. Whether it's a chair or a floor or a bed. Just notice what the surface feels like and where your body is making contact with the surface. And imagine if you will that for the purpose of this practice Whatever you're resting on, it's only job in the world. All it wants to do is to support you. So allow yourself to be supported just a little more. And whether you would like to leave your eyes open or closed, begin to draw your attention to your breath. We all have our own unique rhythms and tempos. So what is your breath like today? Maybe you're noticing that it's faster or slower than it usually is. Maybe it's deeper or more shallow. Just take a moment to check in, tuning inward, to notice what your breath is like at this moment. Maybe you're holding it. Maybe it's very easy, just noticing. And finally, as we begin to enter into the sound meditation, 
I invite you to imagine that your ears are receiving sound rather than listening, allowing this to be a very passive experience for you. Just allowing your body to receive the sound in the way that it needs.
staying in the silence as long as you need. This work is very much similar to other mindful practices, just as we rest in Shavasana at the end of an asana practice. We need to take a moment to rest in silence to allow the central nervous system to integrate the sound that it's received. So again, stay in comfort. And when you're ready, if and when you're ready to reorient yourself to the room, you can again gently begin to bring your attention back to your breath. Noticing what your body is resting on. Noticing if there's been a shift of any kind, maybe not. And then just as if we were deep sea diving, take your time coming back into the space. You've been in a bit of an altered state so if your eyes are still closed and you open them, allow your eyes just to softly receive what you're looking at. And the soft eyes and soft ears begin to enter back into the space. And the remainder of your day. Thank you so much for sharing this practice with me. I'm very grateful to have been able to bring it to you in a very shortened, abbreviated form. Uh, thanks again. And have a lovely remainder of your day. Thank you.